Alright, so I don't need to go back in that room. So am I supposed to let her catch me, I guess? I don't I don't know what it means by defeating her. Like, how do you defeat her? How do you can you defeat that that cannot be defeated? <laughs> to see how she gets back in the house. Uh, uh, screw her. Fuck it. Fuck it. Alright, there was no globe down here, right? No. Oh, this is the opposite in this game. You just tap the button, open the door. <laughs> Alright, maybe that's how it was in the other one. I don't remember. I could have sworn it was a globe in here somewhere. Where'd that globe go? Was there not one in here? Or was it my bedroom? I guess it wasn't in here. So I'll be damned if I see one. Come here. I won't hurt you. This was in my bedroom where I saw it. I just want to see where I saw that I've been hurt. globe. <laughs> I'm just interested in finding the globe I passed earlier in the game. I guess it has to be in my room. Where are you hiding, you slut? Damn! It's a little girl calling her a slut. Pretty fucked up, yo. <laughs> I know there was another globe somewhere in this game. I just don't remember where I've seen it now. Young lady. Good. I think she's uh welcome back. Chores? Obviously not. Seems like she's cooled off now. It wants me to defeat Andrea, but I don't know how you can defeat her because again, coinciding with the previous game, you couldn't defeat anybody in the previous game, so I don't know what that means. In a literal sense anyway. Oh, I do have a thing, but I don't have a key, though. So where was the other globe at? I saw another globe. Do you remember where I saw the other globe, Angel? I've so seen one. Tired of all this. Just want to break from it all. Twenty-five globes. Well, I know I've seen one, but I don't know where it was. I don't remember. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Feel me.
This feels like it's gonna be like a 10 hour play. Oh shit! I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at chat. <laughs> God Come damn it. Here. I won't hurt you. The fuck you won't. <laughs> no, they know I am. You think? She's standing right next to you. <laughs> but I did see... Uh, I mean, I'm kind of rambling, but... There was another globe that I saw, and I just don't remember where I've seen it now. I didn't know you had to break them. Makes sense, broken porcelain, but I didn't... But I didn't know you, like, physically had to break them. Because the game didn't actually instruct Jennifer. you to. Because, like, wherever the first globe was... No, I got her keys. Like, why can't I open that door? Can I open this door now? Locked. No. Yeah, this is going to bother me now. Um, what do the globes do, Angel? Is, is that just, like, achievement type stuff? If it is, then I ain't gonna worry about it. Prologue, second room. Is that this room? <laughs> I mean, I remember staring at one, trying to pick it up, and I couldn't. So I left it and just buckered off. I could have sworn it was in her room. But I guess it's not. I don't know what the prologue second room is. Oh, I think it was in that room where we first got attacked. I think the yeah, yeah, yeah that's what it was. It was the original room you start at in the game? It's just like a little play test area, I guess. There was a globe. That's what it was, and I had no idea what it was. But it wouldn't let me because there was no prompt to pick it up. I didn't know you had to break it. That's what it was. Defeat Andrea. I have no idea how to defeat her. I had a nail gun or something, I would say. Yeah, just shoot her with a nail gun, but... Girls. Filthy. But, um, all right, she went there. Uh, what now? They changed so it didn't change a lot, but they changed enough from the first game that I really don't know what the game wants me to do. Because it says to defeat the enemy, 
But again, in the previous game, you couldn't defeat enemies. You just cat and mouse it. So I don't know what it wants me to do to defeat her. I'm so tired of all this. I just want to break from it all. I mean, do I just jab her with a fucking knife 20 million times? Is that what it wants me to do? I mean, literally that's the only thing I can think of. You get a shit, right? That's enough. I guess what you can do is, is Stop right there. let me know how I'm supposed to beat her, because I have no idea. I'm gonna play Ring Around the Rosie for a while. With this. Look up real quick how I'm supposed to beat her. Because I have no clue. Other than letting her just capture me and then I stab her, but. We own. Andrea A N D R E A or Andrea, however they say Andrea. Andrea they call her whatever. I mean you can say Andrea, whatever. Cause the game doesn't do a good job. Explaining new functions to you in this game. It's like they just assume you're gonna Understand what you're supposed to do, but if you played these games back-to-back -back, it It's a little nerve-wracking Because <laughs> this game kind of defies some of the rules of the first game As far as like what you, what you can and can't do Oh, there's the globe here. There it is. That's the one I saw. Is there an easier way to break it, though? Alright. You have to waste an item to break it? That's kind of stupid. Uh, you need to use some diverse items like dolls to attract her to specific locations and sneak behind her and attack her with your weapon. Then you need to run away from her and repeat the process. Oh, okay. It's kind of what I thought, but... Again, logic from the previous game kind of told me otherwise. <laughs> Rose gold, welcome. And there's a faster way to defeat her. Right, well, I'm, not, I'm not trying to get too many spoilers. I'm just trying to, because I literally just played the, the original yesterday. So I'm playing these back to back, and I guess you could say the game mechanics between the two have changed. So I'm trying to like get used to like what their terminology is so when they say defeat somebody it's like okay how do you do it because in the first game you couldn't so and the game doesn't really give you any directions other than that so that's kind of what i was just trying to figure out I'm so tired of all this. I break from it all. 
Alright, so what ones do I have on me? Um, the music boxes you gotta set down on the ground, right? Ugh, I have a migraine. And it's all their fault. Alright, so. I've been hurt. I have to hide. Alright. Get out of here real quick. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go in here because. Uh, there was a throw boy item in here. I already grabbed it. That's uh, over there. Okay. Where were you going? Uh, through there. <laughs> Get up. What happened? Oh, I'll make you pay. I don't know what happened right there, but whatever. Alright, let's get her away from us for... Oh, I can't go this way, shit. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> ah, you, Alright, let's just lose her, then we'll... Start... Going after her. Once she gets... Once she drops aggro. I thought I made myself clear. It would be best if I just told him I don't work with crybabies. While they're wandering around the house, I am here working my ass off. Man, so I never used any of these items yet, so. I don't even know what the hell they do. Alright, so the music box is just drop it down like it's a trap. Alright. Um, so for example, if I put that over here. I told Ashman that we didn't need desperate children. Can you set the item, please? Oh, that's right, wrong button. So in theory, she should go over and check that thing out, then I can run up and hit her and whack her from behind. I'm assuming. Are you trying to aggravate me? We'll see how this goes. How do you hit her? Fuck. Okay, how do you hit her? You shouldn't be here. Respect your elders. Get up. Oh, fuck, dude. What the fuck? Get off the controls. Stop crouching. <laughs> so how do you hit her? Oh, uh, we gotta like throw something at her. Or something? I don't. Understand. All right, I gotta ask another question because I'm an idiot. Apparently, when you go to attack her, is there a prompt or is it like something I have to like throw at her? Like you, the defensive item is purely for defense, right? To break a hold. I don't use that to attack her, right? Does anybody know? That's what I'm saying is. It's fucking confusing. Because I went up to the attacker and I didn't get a prompt to do anything, so I don't know what that means. Oh, I want this.
They hurt me. Fuck, dude. I'm trying Stop to you, bitch. get up. Where were you hiding? Yeah, I don't. The only part I don't understand now is like, how do you actually hit her? Like the trap had poison in it. Did that like damage her at all? Like I don't, I don't fucking understand. Oh, feel free to spoil where we're gonna be here all fucking day. I knew it. I bet you a normal person probably would have gotten all through this entire area in like an hour. <laughs> it's like, what? Almost fucking three hours. Oh, okay. Sneak it. So you gotta, you gotta stealth, like actually, like creep up to them. I guess. Well, no, I get like how to divert. The, the question I had was literally, how do you physically attack her? And I guess you gotta sneak. I just walked up to her last time, so I think you gotta like literally sneak up to her and you'll get a prompt. That was the part I was confused on. Again, because you didn't do this in the, la in, the in the original game. <laughs> so it's a little hard for me to get the original game out of my head since I just played it yesterday. Like bug it out of it. It's me. So it's like, all right. If I turn the radio on, oh, see, I, I'm like, what? Open the door. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to pick the radio up. I thought it was just turning it on. I thought I made myself clear. So wait. Oh, I can't look at my inventory right now. So if I set this over here again. Girls. Filthy girls. Oh, I'm gonna say is it turn on or what? Alright. So we're way over to walk by my crouch and then see if I get a prompt. I just I gotta find out how to actually attack her. Fucking wrong button. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Alright. Would help if I hit the right fucking button. <laughs> Stop crouching, get up, run.
Just did come in there. Right? No. Oh. She didn't. <laughs> of course. I will smash you in pieces with my own hands. I swear. I knew it. Oh god, why is that's so cheap, palette that makes you stop moving. Uh I'm dead here, probably. She ain't moving, there we go. Jennifer! Alright. Just laugh and sloppy gameplay. Come here, I won't hurt you. Well, it explains why the game gives you a gazillion weapons. All right, chicks in bad shape. How else you go? She's outside and why is she outside? Where are you hiding? Dumb boy? bitch. Hey you this way. Young lady, don't make me get angry. Show yourself, please. Thank you. Get out. Um, sure, why? hide, you coward. Hide away. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. This is supposed God, to be a hotel, but it feels more like an orphanage. There we go. Uh, bitch! Come on, stop! My arm. I really hate how they have crouch on the fucking analog sticks. Get the fucking weapon. No, not that. Pick up the fucking weapon. <laughs> I should say I'll get it. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, shut up, please. <laughs> People have headphones on. <laughs> it's too loud. Oh, where's she at? That it? Okay, well, I guess that didn't work. She came the last time I did it. Uh, can I pick it back up? I can't even pick it back up. Oh, God, okay, sucks. It's 
open a door. Come here. Come here. Oh, straight there already? I mean, well, that wasn't part of the plan. It's <laughs> not how I envisioned that thing go. I wanted her to walk into the bathroom while he hid in the closet and I was going to jump out and knife her and run. <laughs> that obviously didn't go as planned. Alright, let's go. I'm sure she's like right there, but it's okay. Oh, come on. Damn it, she's on me. She knows I'm in here. Oh. Um, camera? Thank you. <laughs> Alright. This cat and mouse just got on my nerves now. God, why do I keep hitting Y? It's really pissing me off that I keep doing that. Oh, it's because the prompt's coming from me. Oh yeah, dude, here we go. Ow! Don't run into the door, just open. Oh, oh come on. That was weak. Where's all those weapons I dropped on the floor? <laughs> God damn it, all these knives, I need a knife. Got one. Hey, over here. What is she getting stuck on? God damn it. Shit doesn't work whenever I want it to. I know save points feel. I haven't even seen a save point in this game. I will smash you in pieces with my own hands. I swear. Jennifer, don't make me lose my patience. Yeah, but I haven't seen a mirror. At least the ones, not like the ones in the first game. How else are you going to see me if I do that way? Alright, we gotta go this way. Yeah, the mirrors, um, they usually, they were glowing in the first game, and you just walk up to them and click to save, but I haven't seen a mirror like that in this game, so I don't know what mirror you save to. I will whip your head off and throw it in the freezer! I 
want to go home. Can you like not talk, please? Girls. Jesus. Filthy girls. God, it's still doing it. This is supposed to be a hotel. But it feels more like an ah! You're oh no. Me. I'm stuck in here. What the fuck just happened? Uh oh, don't go make me go that way. way. Let's play then! No, that's impossible. I have to try again. Yeah, I need a knife. What the fuck is a knife? Give me a knife. Give me a knife. I don't know where I picked that up from, but I'll take it. <laughs> Literally no knife in sight, but whatever. The phantom knife for the kill. <laughs> hey, I'm here. This is where I fuck up my game right here. Oh, she did. She can't see. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Figure she can see you there. I thought that would give me a little cover, but I guess not. I'm counting to three. One, two, two and a half. Ready three. Or not, here I come. Oh! What the Where fuck! You Should go out the damn door. Follow me, you stupid bitch. Jennifer. Oh, she. What the hell? Why can't she see me there? Hiding behind the damn thing. Shut up, you stupid crow. Maybe the crow gave me away, I don't know. I will whip your head off and throw it in the freezer. There's no way she's not going to see me here. Oh you really? Still here? <laughs> the only Freeze time I hit a <laughs> and it grabs the phone list, which I was nowhere near. It's so cheap. Alright. Can we just, like, get behind our place? Sure, oh, come on. Hide away. Turn the way I am running, please. Stop diverting to a different direction. It's pissing me off now. Oh my god, you're really on my nerves. Why do you keep coming back? Now watch. Now I'm gonna go this way, and she's gonna be over here. This game's suck a dick. What'd I tell you? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> My god. It's so fucking annoying. <laughs> well, let me kill you then. And we won't be doing this no more. Stupid ass. Dear Jennifer. I won't open my mouth. I'll keep everything to myself. There's no way she's seeing me right there. 
Alright, I'm just gonna get the fuck out of here. This, this shit's fucking annoying me right now. Um. Alright. of your generation yeah 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 just are you not gonna look at the closet oh my god I hate this lady I find you is she even in the room I can't tell Take it. Ah, stop! I'm about to say that was four times, man. Alright. Master key, finally. Um where is the save mirrors at in this game? <laughs> I mean none of my zine one yet. Is this a save mirror in here? Because it doesn't look like it. Oh my god, Jen, you look like hell today. It's definitely not a save mirror. Where are the save mirrors at? She ain't gonna get back up, is she? <laughs> Alright, anyway, what do we gotta do now? Leave the second floor. Is that here? Yeah. Sir, that's very rude. <laughs> Some years later. Okay. Still no news regarding last night's massacre at the peaceful residence of Cervo Scuro, where the body of Richard Felton, a well-known notary, was found burnt in his own home. <clears throat> The man who was legally registered as Jennifer Richard Dean Salton and was found completely drenched in kerosene. The body of 38-year-old Gloria Ashman was also found at the scene. She was his personal assistant and a former nun at the Cristo Morente convent. Her body was found mutilated after she was reported thrown out a courtyard-facing window, apparently following a heated argument. The neighbors claimed to have spotted a distinctive woman lurking around the area, having parked a white van nearby. She just doesn't give a fuck. Missing. February 8th, 1971. Celeste Felton, 13 years old. Beloved adopted daughter of Richard Felton and Ariana Gallo. <clears throat> you ran away from home, isn't that so? Why did you end up in this godforsaken place? Uh, okay. What? Oh, I gotta put it down. Oh, B, yeah. What's... <laughs> oh, okay. Signed by Flemington Institute to the <laughs> like, Foster Home and do? Work Project at the Ashman Inn. 1973. Jennifer. Just over two years older. Unknown parents. It's you, isn't it? Celeste Felton. Okay, we're not reading any of that. Miss, Mr. Ashman is waiting for you. Did you say read? Are you a relative? More like an old family friend. Come in, Miss Reed. Come in. Don't be afraid. I don't bite. 
hard. What is three? <laughs> yeah, she's much better than the girl. Good evening, Mr. Ashman. You've certainly come a long way. You have gone from simple larceny and battery all the way to homicide and arson. Are you here to broaden your resume? Do you remember me? I'll never forget a face. Maybe because I don't have one anymore. I mean, I'll say this. I know exactly why. Well, you're I'll say it when they're done. The same exact reason why that son of a bitch Felton ended up like cooked meat. Whatever happened to Celeste Felton? I have here a dossier from the Flemington Girls Institute granting custody of 15-year-old girl Jennifer and certifying that she is to be a housekeeper at this hotel. Celeste Felton and the girl in the photo are the same person, aren't they? Yeah, I noticed that too. That girl was simply an orphan, a homeless nobody. And so I decided to take custody of her. And she just so happened to be the adoptive daughter of your former hated business partner, Felton, by pure coincidence? <laughs> I don't buy it. So, you're saying that besides synthesizing pharmaceutical drugs and spreading diseases, Mr. Felton and yourself were all dedicated to helping homeless minors? It was never about synthesizing a disease. Because the disease never existed. And the moths? Woken up at last. Uh, hey, hey, I barely touched down. her. It's just a bad dream. <laughs> no, it wasn't a dream. I found you at the bottom of the stairs. You hit your head and lost a lot of blood. It was as if you were dead, Jim. <laughs> Andrea went crazy. You must eat or drink something, young lady. She wanted to kill me. <laughs> That's not possible, Jennifer. Andrea was with me. Here you go. Drink up. Oh, yeah. Give me I more drugs. Sure of what I saw. The water in that glass looked terrible. Everything is all right. <laughs> Calm down. There was also a large man. He had a, a, a strange wooden stick shaped like a spine. Poor Slim. That man is dead, young lady. That would be his penis. No, I, I saw him. <laughs> he was the one who pushed me down the stairs. You called him Wyman! That thing is no longer Professor Wyman. Andrea! That man is dead. And has been for a long time. He... hung himself. You see? You were just dreaming. I... 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 I, I don't understand. Jen, you have to calm down now. You believe me, Lynn, don't you? You believe me, right? She should get some rest now. Jen, if I need anything... I'm here for you. It made her a little too hysterical, I think. I mean... I get the situation, but... She wasn't acting that hysterical when she was getting chased with a, by a lady with a knife <laughs> for the last hour. <laughs> Anyway, God, enough of these cutscenes, please. Right. I was gonna say the dude in the bed, straight out of Hannibal. <laughs> and Reed. She's like the original from that that movie series. Excuse me. I forget the girl's name. Uh, though. Are you new? I suppose so. I love that song. Where are you from? Flemington Girls Institute. What did you do? What do you mean? If you get transferred here, it means you are a real problem. Listen, I'm not up for making conversation. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I guess. I was hoping we would get to know each other better. That's all. I'm into illegal organ and drug trafficking. 
In my spare time, I exchange sex for cigarettes. Nice. I was expecting more like a lot controversial of political activist, promoter of black slavery and preservation of the Aryan race. Only in my spare time. Very well, you're right. I'm a real handful. Now, if you will excuse me. The pleasure was all mine. Oh, that's all she's gonna say? Nah, they should have put the line in where you mind if I bum a cigarette from you? That would have been great. <laughs> That would have been a good punchline. <clears throat> you have to wake up. I beg you, wake up. Shit, they drugged you. Listen, you have to leave. You have to get away from this place. Well, what about you? Again? <laughs> Everything you said before, I believe you. Porcelain and everything else you saw. You heard Andrea. He... He hung himself years ago. It's him, isn't it? Professor Albert Elias Wyman. The same walking stick you were talking about. See? Uh, yeah. I'm not reading stuff. Act. There was no body. And if there had been, <clears> it wouldn't have been his. I don't... I don't understand. There's no time to explain. They know who you are. They know! What are you talking about? Why didn't you ever say anything to me? I tried to warn you. I tried to, to get you to leave. But you never understood, for fuck's sake! Why? Who do they Language. think I am? Celeste Felton. Me? No, I, I don't know. I, oh Someone God, to jump on my head again? Remember. They found you and they brought you here to use you. And now that they are sure of who they think you are, you have to run. Hold on, I need a loot. Helen, just tell me. That drug. The disease! And what does that have to do with me? Your birth mother. She used loads of it. You got it from her. It's, it's a part of you. Your organism hasn't shown any side effects. Your body lives in harmony with it. You can even control it. And they know it. Look me in the eyes. Don't How does she know? Me. You mustn't do anything or trust anyone. Is this the reason why we met? Have you been pretending to be my friend this whole time? No, Jen. It had nothing to do with this. I've always been honest with you. Go on without me. I'll be fine. <sighs> when a mother moth perceives the presence of a possible threat to her throne, she does everything that she is capable of to maintain control over the <clears throat> others. Therefore, eliminating the threat. Okay, Mr. Creepy Voice. I guess I was uh, Wyman. A telephone! It's coming from Ashman's office. Oh. Uh. I need a weapon first. Come on, there's butter knives all over this place. Are they gonna give me a knife now? Another moth key, which I haven't figured out how to use yet.
Can I please get a knife? Uh, is there any way of getting these globes without throwing something at them? Does anybody know? Like, do I have to throw something at this to get this? I was like, this is the only way you can get these globes is to, is to hit it with something? That's wasting my shit. Okay. Use a weapon. What the hell? Icebreaker? Alright. I'm down with that. Alright. How many collectibles do I have? I got two. Or throwables, whatever. Yeah, we'll take that. Alright. Where's the phone at? <laughs> Obviously that's his office and just checking shit out. It's this A. Oh. Oh. Take the key. I tried grabbing that key earlier when you when you during <laughs> during the prologue wouldn't let me. B. Oh, I thought it wanted me to pick that up. I'm like, what? It's pretty agile. Alright, I know, the ringing's getting on probably everybody's nerves, uh, I can't even get in there. I just picked up the keys. Uh, I just grabbed that keys, didn't I? Did I not? Go to room 211 and find the keys for the manager's office. What? Why do I get room 211? Uh, not that way. Tracking already, I don't like it. That's mine, 212, that's two whatever. So where's 211? Oh god, we're gonna run in this I get it, 212 and 213 are that way. Where's 211 at? It's barging. Fuck it. Shut up! Oh, 211. Alright, 211's this way. It'd be nice if you just took, take the shotgun and use that. Work for me. Two eleven. Another cutscene. I, anyway, Angel, I see your comment. I just find it odd that they talk about the moth boxes or something where you gotta do whatever to get the powers. I haven't seen that yet. And I have not seen a save mirror at all. <laughs> so. Find enough of these stupid keys, though. Alright, 
What does the woman do in here? Go to room and find the manager's keys. Yo, why don't you just like take a brick and crush his fucking skull? That's what I would do. Can't go over. Screw these people. Alright, let's go back. Shut up. Shut it. You little stupid bird. I like how this game, though, they automatically use the quest items. It's not like the first game where you had to, like, s stop and do it yourself. It wasn't a... Finally get here and it stops ringing. Shit. I missed it by a second. Wait, what's that? Maybe they left a voicemail. That existed in 73? I guess. I guess it did. Um. Ashman. Hi, Stefano. It's me, Ariana. I know it was you earlier. I know it was you all those other times. I beg you. Stop tormenting us. I beg you, please, to stop. I am a married woman now, whether you like it or not, so get over it. And as for Richard, despite not having a choice, I stayed by his side when he endured all that shit that you put him through. Let us deal with our pain. Forget about us. Forget about me. Have some respect for us, a godforsaken couple who will never see their little girl ever again. I wish she could understand. Leave us be. Ariana? Richard? No, it can't be. It can't be them. It must be a coincidence, Jen. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. See what scummy shit this guy's got in his closet. Oh. No, not the drawer. What was it? Another moth key. Where do you use these keys at? I haven't got a f I have not seen like what it is you're supposed to use these keys on. This is this is me. It feels like an eternity has passed since I ran away from home. I don't even look like you. Jesus. Uh, where did it fall from? Oh, the corner. Partnership. It's now T fifty six. The Ashmans. I wonder if they were aware of all the abuses caused by their son to his little sister. Mom. Dad. Is this what you were looking for? <gasps> Mr. Ashman, please, lower that gun. I don't want to hurt you. It's not my intention. Why won't you let me go, then? I have no choice, Celeste. I am not Celeste! Quit the act! <gasps> You're the only one who can stop it! 
please, Mr. Ashman. I beg of you, let me go. You're exactly the same as your bloody took her, mother. Took a brick to his head. Bitch. <laughs> but not so made her lose her mind. She had to get in the way. I loved Ariana. Why did she keep this apart? Mr. Ashman. She had to be shown who was the real man. Did she not learn her lesson when I fucked her? Jeez. Beyond language. God. That's the loudest fuck I've ever heard. A the fire game. extinguisher. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. I have to make sure they don't find me. Hey, you! Come here! Stop, run. How do I use the fire extinguisher now? Oh, uh, is that gonna... not using your silly mobs now, are I you? Equip it. Why do I gotta equip it? I thought there was going to be a prompt to use it. I didn't realize you had to use it like the throwable items or whatever. I don't know why. Mom, the fire extinguisher. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. Hey, you! Come here! And it's stupid that you got to equip it. <laughs> Jesus, come on. I'll punch you so hard! You're swallowing your own You mind tape. moving, please. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is going to get annoying really quick. Mom. The fire extinguisher. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. I knew it! Not using your silly mobs now, are you? God. I. It's... All right, dude. Can you back the fuck off, please? Why do you have to equip this fucking item? <laughs> the fire extinguisher. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. Where were you? Where do you think you're going? Because I can't move on doing it. It's pissing me off. It works. Ah! I almost had it. Fucking Belton! No, I almost had it. What the hell did you do? Use it! It works! Am I just supposed to get out of the room or something? Stop, oh, you little you coward! Just, you just leave the room. What the fuck? Why don't you just leave the room then? <laughs> the Acheronchia, the most fascinating creature on the planet. It can communicate with others of its kind, even from great distances. Imagine if we could create a bridge between what? the human mnemonic apparatus and the communication what's going system on. of those beings. With rapid impulses and synapses, a transmission of images without the use of senses, that would be telepathy, miss. But most insects need a leader to guide them. 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 That's what the hypnosis was for. During the hypnosis, the metronome is only a tool. 
The ticking is interpreted as a gentle flapping of the wings. But the real Queen Bee, or should I say Mother Acarantia, was... Whoever was hypnotizing others. Bingo. And he would have had complete control over them. The Phenoxyl was able to fill in substantial memory gaps, formed by the removal of a particular event, such as traumas from one's memory. But why Celeste, then? That damned mother of hers, who was making regular use of Phenoxyl during her pregnancy, managed to pass on to her an extraordinary gift, a special power. Do you not understand, Reed? Celeste was born a queen bee. Why did we go to that cutscene? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I am disgusted by you and all the girls of your generation. I will whip your head up and throw it in the freezer. Uh, uh, uh. I'm so confused right now. Hang her. This is all yours. Do what you want. Young lady, did your mother tell you that you were born because I fucked her? <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> it was never enough for that fucking whore. The hypnosis, the drugs, her daddy's money, and the company. No. She stole from me the woman I loved. And if that wasn't enough, she stained my family's name. And what about you? Wasn't fucking your sister enough for you? Don't you dare talk about Gloria that way! You're a fucking monster! Admit it! They kept her isolated, far away from anyone, just so that she couldn't spill all of your dirty family secrets! You don't know shit! And when it all started to resurface, you decided it was time to shut them up! Maybe by lighting it all up- SHUT UP! <laughs> it's the most idiotic story I've ever heard. <laughs> Did your dearest father tell you that in reality, he was a woman? That he married the woman that I loved just to keep up the act? That, at just ten years of age, his father stuffed him with meds? You weren't adopted! You best convince yourself that Felton is your biological mother! Give up! There's nothing you can do! <laughs> Alright. I'm confused because... I didn't survive do the oh, the gun f fight. Like, oh, why did I get the cutscenes? I don't understand. I know you can hear me. You can do it. Concentrate. Release what you are holding inside of you. You are a uh, Mother Acarontia. The moths are listening to you. What you have is not an illness. It's a gift. A gift. Use it. You can do it. Use the right button to activate the moth. Use right trigger to navigate. Moths are very susceptible. Versatile, rather. It can be used to interact with uh, specific objects. It can be used to turn around. Blah, 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 blah. Use it again. You want to wait for some time before you use it again. Okay, so it wants me to use it, I guess. Oh. 
I didn't realize I was supposed to be navigating. the camera not moving <laughs> alright something else to get used to why does it go right up to her face I don't understand what's going on with that camera Obviously, I'm not supposed to be, uh, I don't, camera's junky. I don't get it. I really don't fucking get it. the fuck am I doing wrong? Because... As soon as you turn, it just goes right up to her hands. Like, I can't... The camera's, like, stupid. I guess I'm retarded. <laughs> oh. Okay. Sort of have it now. Uh, oh, Christ. Alright, that's not... Come on. Alright, now I got it. Controls aren't that great. They're really not. Oh, come on! And it doesn't tell you how long you have to do whatever you're doing. Alright, it takes... That takes some getting used to. Lights went out. They're coming. Sir, the girl. I can't find her. Can't turn the radio on. How oh, did I trick myself into believing that she could be useful to us? Kiss my ass, dickhead! Wanna close the door? Open this fucking door, you bitch! They're all crazy! Crazy! Oh, fuck it now. Uh, really? What? Gotcha! Alright. You even 
even stole from me. After I took you in. With good intentions, too. <clears throat> Are you behind that door? Or under that table? It's like why wouldn't he why wouldn't be careful from now on? Why wouldn't he walk into the locker? Or check the locker. Alright. Hey, there's the brick. Ironically. <laughs> How could they do this? How? Alright. I I did pick up a weapon, right? Alright. Okay, let's get out of here. What's up? Muff key. And more of that shit. Uh, yeah. Could they do this? How? Turn the gas on and blow this place up. End of the game. <laughs> I'll take the knife over the scissors, I think. Uh, my head. It's all their fault. Alright, this one's for science. I just want to see if I can kill her if I sneak up on her. My guess is probably no, but... I, I want to get away from here. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. Thank you for getting stuck on the bag. No, I don't want the radio. Just... Turn it on. I don't like the inventory thing in this game. Calm down, person. Lisa. Why it's do you have to pick head. a radio up to use it? I can just turn it on. So many girls. Could all of this have something to do with me? I don't know. We're not reading it though, because you get killed. <laughs> the red nuns were used as lab right, rats, right. and then burned alive to here. bury the evidence. Close the door, please. Thank you. Hey, a save mirror, finally. They do exist in this game. We can't. We can't leave. Just like nothing. Okay. Save it again. All right, A. So Lynn waits tables. <sighs> I feel dead inside. I have to be strong. Oh, 
well, she's gonna see me. I can't go that way. All right. Um. That song. That song. It's inside my head. Feel dead inside. She got lovely eyes. There must be some sort of exit from this restaurant. Don't make me Not so was our only option to achieve what we all wanted. That was to forget about everything. Do, do, do. Uh, we'll take a no, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? I wanted the glass. <laughs> yeah, the glass. Thank you. What's up? Oh, another radio. Mom, <laughs> Dad, Gloria. I'm so sorry. How did I trick myself into believing that she could be useful to us? The balcony. Me, get over. Oh, the I'm so tired of all this. I just want to break from it all. I knew this wasn't just a bad dream, and that I wasn't losing my mind. All right, time to use the bathroom. <laughs> TP, TP for bunghole. No. Oh. Open it. Alright, this is nothing. Alright. She's just a girl. She can't help us. Okay. How am I at? Oh, okay. Snack. I will rip your head off and throw it in the freezer. Please, I beg oh, you. Oh my god, dude. Fuck off. I will oh, make you you don't make this. me lose my patience. Oh, get over. That's definitely not a good situation. You can't hide forever. I noticed. I go. I really don't. I beg you. I beg you. So that's really, you gotta dodge three of these idiots. 
What the fuck? I'll just pick up another moth key. Oh, this is in a good spot to sit. Hopefully, I don't check the toiletry. So is the dog a puzzle? Find a way to store the watchdog. So do I just throw something to distract the dog just like I do everybody else? Is it that, is it that easy? I might be older than you. Believe me when I say I will never give up. Not to lower their guard. Easy says, I know. Alright. Did they reset? There's like the lady chilling out and shit. She is. Alright. So. That's like the best watchdog I've ever seen. He literally doesn't leave his post. <laughs> No, you don't see me. Stupid ass dog. Um. Have they completed their chores? Obviously not. Can't pick up food, can I? All right, what items am I carrying? All right. I know dolls like food, but. Mr. Ashman has done a lot for this place, making sure that even press and tabloids was right up about right. its reopening. Look at that shit later. All right, let's just go back through here. He doesn't fucking see me. there all right i'm just gonna try and throw a noisemaker to distract the dog and see if that does anything first once scumbag goes back to the other side unless he's stuck over there now seems like he is Looks like he's bugged out. Alright, fuck it. Let's just throw something here. See what happens. Shut up. How did I trick myself into believing that she could be useful to us? It's all their fault. There's no food to grab. 
The only one who actually anymore. gets any work done around nightmare. here is me. Shit. I wanted to go over and stab her. This bastard's is gonna see me. Come on, flyboy. Or mothman, whatever. I, know, I tricked myself into believing that she could be useful to us. All right, no prompt on her. Ugh, I have a migraine, and it's all their fault. Can I grab this bottle? Why can't I grab the bottle? Hello? I'm so tired of all this. this Just want to break from it all. And instead, it all turned against us. Uh, all right. Fuck it, let's go back this way. I wanna I'm gonna try stabbing in. Ariana, how could you do this to me? What kind of camera is that? Jesus. I just want to get away from this place! Um... Why can't I get the prompt to go in there now? Oh, you... the fuck? Hey, you! Come here! And see us! Oh, sh <gasps> shit! <laughs> oh, get fucked up now. I... I love how the other chick who's in the other room is immediately at the door. It's great. Shit! There has to be a way to shut him up! Alright. I still got my weapon? I do. I yeah, my knife. Okay. Working my ass off. All right, do I gotta look at this thing again? Mr. Ashman has done a lot for this place, making nah. sure that even press and tabloids would write up about its reopening. Shush. Please. I'm so tired of all this. I just want to break from it all. I'll let you know when I want out. We thought we could stop it. To stop the parasites from spreading. I want to gank this motherfucker. I just want to see if, <laughs> if you can kill him. There's enough weapons. I just want to see if you can kill these people. How did she get away? We thought we could stop them. They mustn't find me. The camera when you when you break ah, that you shit are. is so bad. What are you ducking stop for? You I'm not even. Hey, you! Go back to where you came from. I'm opening the door. Right. It's just for science. I just want to see if you can take them out. Because, I mean, it was scripted though the first time, so like when you take out Andrea, so I don't know if you're able to like, stab the guy four times, like. 
Does he drop a revolver? I doubt it. I was the right man for Ariana, not Veltin, a filthy slut pretending to be a man. All of them gonna no, walk in. To <laughs> She's just God, I have to find Lynn. We're gonna walk in here one after another. Alright, chill so out. Go do something. Go find something else to do, you idiots. Fucking morons. We thought we could stop them. To stop the parasite from spreading. And instead, it all turned against us. How did you manage to enchant me? She's just like Felton. Whore. Alright, I gotta get rid of How did she get away? This bastard. Uh oh. Well, he is hurting because he's holding himself. It's all her fault. All right. Uh, will she go over here and get this? Oh, really? Get the what the fuck? Come on, move. I can't jump up there. All right, you can only jump down, not up. All right, got it. They mustn't find me. I will. It won't be like when you ran oh, away shit. from home. This time around, you'll be all alone. No, I was gonna say, how many times are we gonna have to do this now? Porcelain can hear us <laughs> and see us. <laughs> So, Ariana and I could have been your family, a real family. All right, can you just leave, please? Fuck. How often is the moth thing like viable in this game? Like, like can you Are use you that to distract you people and shit? You can do it. I'm just waiting until they chill out. Alright, they're chilled. Like, can you use the moth to, um, distract people and shit? Ariana, how could you do this to me? Well, let's pick that up. I don't have anything. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's take that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. Uh, the bottle's good. Yeah, screw the rope. I don't know why I'm carrying rope. So it's like, for example, if I go in here... And... Alright, I don't know why I'm not getting the... So I'm imagining you gotta hide yourself, right? So let's just see if I was to do this. So you can use this throughout the entire fucking game. All right. The camera's a little fucking awkward with it, though. Come on. I'm wondering if that's what you got to do. Unleash the dog. 
Unleash the hounds. Alright, well, I shouldn't be getting seen over here, right? Oh, you can do that to mark enemies. Oh. Oh. Okay. Which the game would, like, kind of tell you this shit. <laughs> I guess you gotta get kind of within range, though. Okay, so I can see him now. Uh, so you can only target one at a time. Alright. Nah, so there's nothing I can do anything with the rope. Can't back up or anything. This is controls are kind of... Oh, yeah. We got a prompt on it though. Let me see what that does. Come on, girly. Oh, gotta wait for the cooldown. Hey. Filthy dog! What do you want now? Be quiet! Shut your mouth! Oh wow. Aw. Oh, no. No. I didn't I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> Jeez. The fuck? I was not expecting that. Well Dog's out of the way. Alright. <laughs> Um, now we gotta get fat bitch out of here, I guess. Alright, so let's do this. Oh, that's one way to do it. Alright, let's see if we can get back to the save room. Where's this good old Billy Bob at? Here he comes. He's hurting unit. Look at him. <laughs> Fucking hurting unit. Let's do it, our dick face. Make a move. Let's find nowhere to go. Alright, I'm gonna go back and save it real quick. Since I'm not exactly sure how to get out the door yet. Without pulling a shit ton of aggro. Uh oh. No way this bitch ain't seeing me. Okay, she's not seeing me. Alright, so I could just walk right by her and she doesn't give a shit. Alright. Fair enough. Alright. Now, when you heal yourself, it breaks the window. The window heals over time, though? Is that... I hope. I don't know how that works. I... So, I really didn't heal in the first game. Alright. Anyway, let's get out of here. Okay, um, what items do I have? I do have a jukebox. Alright, yeah, let's upgrade that actually. Okay, so let's pick up another one. Alright. What was that? That's just another jukebox. Okay. Yeah, she's just literally blind as a bat. Doesn't even hear me opening the door. <laughs> if 
first enemy is terrible. Patcher AI. <laughs> Alright, where is he at? Hello? Hello? Where are you at, senor? Senor asshole. Alright, he's all the way down there. Of course they're by the door. Why wouldn't they be? Alright. Um hmm. Uh alright. Shit, it's coming back up. They're wandering around the house. I am here, working my ass off. Okay, so I'm assuming I gotta distract her as I get out the door. Alright, that's all I gotta do, right? Just run away. Alright, so... Let's, um... I know. This ain't gonna work, but... <laughs> Nothing I ever do works. Um... Is she gonna hear that? She does. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, bitch. Come on, man. Like, come on, game. We have to hide. Yeah, like I have a fucking clue where to go out here. Into the trash can. <laughs> no? I guess not. Oh, come on now. Oops. I thought that was. God damn it. That Sorry. Close. Stay back. Calm down. I'm back to myself. Fuck that up. You can trust me. I was hitting A thinking I was gonna have to hold the door. <laughs> what the hell is going on with the others? Listen to me. There's no time now. I want to get away from this place. Okay. I can help you escape, but you Shit. have to help me with something first. Jennifer, what? you have to trust me. I know what you are capable of. Like what you did in the cold room. That voice. Was that you earlier on? I can feel what you are holding inside, and I know that you can hear me. Listen up. There's a dumbwaiter in the utility room on the balcony. I know how to find the key, but you have to guide me. Guide you? And how would I do that? Exactly how I did with you earlier. I guided you to use your gift, allowing you to escape. Stay here. I'll go ahead. Um... Actually, no, you didn't, really. <laughs> it took me, like... Five minutes to figure out how to okay, do it. Stay with me. Don't leave me. I'll give you the go ahead as soon as I'm done. Run outside and come meet me. Shit, she's coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? Use it. What? Huh? Old jukebox. What the fuck is she talking about? Oh. Here we are. There should be a key somewhere. Ashman usually hides it here. Where the fuck is it? God damn it, I can't get to it. Can you manage to see a small key up there? Oh, fuck, fuck. 
No, she heard me. Oh, God, I have to hide. Jen, what do I do? Fuck what I know. This is stupid. Um, oh, so you're not gonna give me a prompt here? What's going on? Is she getting in there? I don't understand what's going on. Hello? Did she get inside? I have no idea what's going Thank on. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. I didn't see her go in there. <laughs> Hold on just a little longer. You seriously going out that way? I this camera. Oh my god, really? I'm stuck in here. <laughs> you dumb bitch. Open the door. <laughs> You're dead. Help! Stupid ass. <laughs> okay, stay with me. Don't leave me. Hey, I didn't I'll die, that's all I know. As soon as I'm done. Run outside and come I was with me. Good. Shit, she's coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? Use it. I didn't die. All right, so. Like, she held this door open for me. I think she would have held the front door open. Stupid ass. Here we are. There should be a key somewhere. Ashwin usually hides it here. Where the fuck is it? See, the, the thing it's stupid with the sequences, and now it's like on... No! She heard me. Oh, God. I have to hide. Jen, what do I do? I might as well go out. Because. Why not? She's safe. She, she got a crowbar? Oh, it's a blowtorch or something? <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Thank you. You know, she's eventually going to walk over to me. <laughs> 